All right, to open up Inventor, usually we'll have an icon on your desktop. It's right here. It says Autodesk Inventor Pro. It has a little eye. You can double click on that. Or if you don't have one, you can click your start menu and just start typing in Inventor. And you'll see you have a couple different options. You have Professional 2016 and you have View and Reset Utility and some other stuff. You want to use this one right here, Autodesk Inventor, Professional, and then whatever the current version is. So once this opens up, very first time you open it, it may you may see something like this. These are some tutorials you can click through if you want to. They're not super helpful, but if you want to, there's some tutorials. Otherwise, you can go to New, and if I just click it, the screen will pop up. And you can see I have Part, which is a 3D or 2D object. We'll use that when we're making 3D objects. You have an assembly, so that's when I take multiple parts and I put them together into an overall assembly. You have a drawing, which is, makes uh, technical drawings. You can either do it you know, from scratch or you can take your 3D parts and put them on there, your assembly, and put them onto a drawing. And then you have a presentation to make a nice professional looking overall presentation of your work. On the left side over here is where you pick either English or metric. So English, I have everything will be in inches. If you wanted to work in millimeters, you click over here to metric. And I have the same thing, part assembly drawing. And I have everything in millimeters, millimeters, everything like that. You have different kind of engineering standards and professional standards that you'll see on here. So the ANSI is American National Standards Institute. The BSI is the British National or the British Standards Institute. DIN is the Deutsch, Japanese, Chinese. So there are different professional standards that are used throughout the world. For our purpose on this assignment, we're going to be using English, so in inches and a drawing. So right here is the one you want to click to create a new drawing. Hit create and it should pop up soon. And there you go. Now you can start making a drawing.